And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Houston Astros. Alongside my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. Thanks for joining us here. Postseason baseball, Singy. It's always great to see and be a part of. Oh, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching, guys coming out of the bullpen throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that will live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set and towing the slab, Justin Verlander. And Singy, he's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. Four pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter. You really have to stay on your toes. Marcus Simeon, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Check swing, went around, and a count even at one. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. The one, two. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. And that's outside. Popped up. Abreu as this one sized up makes the catch and there's one gone. Batting second, the shortstop Corey Seager. And here's Corey Seager to hit. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. In plenty of time. The first quick start here this evening. Two out, top of the first. Two outs, base is empty. Up next for the Rangers, Evan Carter. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's inside. There's a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. There's a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. And a 3-2. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line and into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. And yeah, the batter now, Adolis Garcia. Swing and a miss, 0-1.
at the belt and fires. That's down and in. Oh, great stop. Throw to first. Got him. A beautiful play to end the inning. Rangers lead one. Now here come the Astros. No score. You're watching the National League Division Series on the show. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Our starting pitcher in this one, Jordan Montgomery. Well, most pitchers today are pretty tall, but this guy's definitely taller than most. He's kind of an imposing figure out there, especially when he's standing on top of the bump. It's like he's looking down on you, so hitters have to be prepared for a couple of things. Ball can get on you a lot quicker because of the extension and release point, and then also tilt through the zone. If you're going to try to hit pitches at the bottom of the zone, it's going to be difficult to get on plane. So look for something up from this guy. You might have a chance to do some damage. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Check swing, went around, and the count is 0 and 2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Here's the 0 2. And down on strikes he goes, and one gone. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Mauricio Dubon in the box with one away as he takes ball one. One down, base is empty. That one not Two close. No Two balls, no strikes. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Next offering down in the dirt. Hey. And that's in for a strike. through there for a strike. And a pitch. Foul ball and it remains a full count. Bounced and that got the pitcher. Not in time. He's safe. Well, these are the ones you hate to see. It got him right in the head. Amazingly, he looks like he might be okay. He's kind of waving everyone off. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty amazed. They obviously take any shot to the head very seriously, but you're right, Boog. It looks like he's doing okay out there. Thank goodness. Now it's Alex Bregman. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Dubon at first, one gone. The next pitch misses, and yeah, the count even one and one. Kicks and fires. In for a strike, one and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch is in the dirt, and the count is two and two. Well, with the Amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt. A good secondary lead. Doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're Three. anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. 
Yordan Alvarez. Yeah. Oh, and one. And now the lefty to the right side. And that one handled. Gets it to first. And they get the out on Alvarez. And that is the inning. End of one. And we're still scoreless. Back here in Houston. Here's Leody Tavares. The center fielder. Leody. The right hander back to work. And that's outside. Ball to strike. The pitch. To the right side, and that chance handled. Slings to first, and quickly one away in the second. Here's Josh Young. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Over to Abreu. And a couple of quick outs. Batting seven. The first baseman, Nathaniel. Nathaniel Lowe. Lowe up to hit. And first offering is fouled off. No score here in the second. One low. One ball, one strike. The one one is fouled off. Struck him out looking. One, two, three, go the Rangers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back. Bottom half Here of the number Here's two. Here's the veteran first, the first baseman, baseman, Jose Abreu. Abreu. The pitch. Ball oh. one there. Ball one, no sight. Next Ball one two. misses, and now 2 and 0. Oh. Eric Summers Gill with home plate duty in this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But, yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Hey, no pitcher's going to argue at all. But why to kick the pitch? In for a strike. And the count is three and one. And he walked it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's Kyle Tucker. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Abreu gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Off the mark there. Two balls, no strikes to count. And a pitch. Runner on the goal. That's hard hit in the line. 
No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's one away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. And that's in there for strike one. That was the pitch to hit. Four seam fastball instead of that sinker ball that makes you hit it on the ground. He missed a good one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Good job to fight that one off. That hits the dirt and a count one and two. On the ground left side six four three but he beats it good hustle and the inning continues good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for ball on the ground nice ground out and now the shortstop Jeremy Pena oh and the zone doesn't get the call one and oh The inside corner for a strike. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. Way out front for strike two. Swing and a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Martin Maldonado in the box now. Take strike one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. And ball one. Here's a 1 1. And a swing and a miss. And now it's one and two. Fouls it back with two strikes. That pitch just misses the inside corner. Two balls, two strikes. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Here comes the runner. Garcia fires it to the plate. There's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield. But an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. here at the ballpark Mitch Garver up to hit here Verlander back to work that's in there that's strike one Garver 32 years old and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico 
the 0 1. Just off the inside edge. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. Benny really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next one in the dirt. And a pitch. Starting after it, a field of first. And he won around. Rule the swing. And here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. First offering, misses the mark. The wind of the pitch. Slow roller to first, and that's just foul. And a 1 1. Rip towards third. Bregman to first. Two up, two down. The batter number two, second baseman, Marcus. Here is Marcus Simeon. First time up was a pop out. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Right hander kicks deals. Hey. Swings and misses and one down Come below on. the zone. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Two two now. Simeon waits. And now the count filled up three and two. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. Great. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And the Rangers set down in order. And we're still knotted at zero. Here in Houston, the bottom of the inning. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Altuve getting the start at second, getting leadoff in today's game, and he was born in Venezuela. The pitch. Now he catches the corner for a strike. Strike two. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Here's Mauricio Dubon. Reached on an infield single his first time. That's to third. Young tosses the first. And a couple of quick outs. Third baseman number two, Alan Bregman. Here's Alex Bregman. Went down on strikes his first time through. In there, and it's 0-1. 0-1's the count. And that's in the dirt.
kicks and deals. And a curve is down and in. Chop to the left side. Young to first. Inning over. One, two, three, go the Astros. And we are still scoreless. Back here at Minute Maid Park. Seeger stands in now. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Into the outfield base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. Worked a walk at his first trip to the plate. Jack Swing went around. It's 0-1. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Ball in one now. Runner at first with no outs here. Battling here as he fouls it away. This one in the dirt. Runner holds. Count goes to one and two. The one two. On the ground, a second might be two. There's one. That throw to first, but he beat it. Oh, a low thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Next up for Texas, Adolis Garcia. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Ball one, no strikes. Verlander moved to first. And he's back in safely. Another throw over. And he's back again. Carter, the base runner at first with one out. And it's even up. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Next pitch is downstairs. And that misses off the outside edge. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking. Make sure that they don't get any confidence. Out to short, and it's through for a hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. The center fielder, number three, Leody. Now it's the switch hitting Tavares. outfielder, Leody Tavares. Right down to shoot, and that is strike one. Riding to the plate. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Well, baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Righty delivers. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Nothing happening on the bases, though. 
One out. Runners at first and second. Next offering in the dirt. And now it's three and two. Josh Young waiting to hit for the Rangers. And the righty deals. Grounded to third, could be two. Bregman to second. What a double play that was. Inning over. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Welcome back. John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, your Don Alvarez. Alvarez. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know oh. if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. Save! Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Jose Abreu up to hit. He reached out a walk his first time. Misses inside. inside. Ball one. Runner at second. Nobody out. And it goes just foul. That's off the mark. Now two balls and a strike. And that one is in for a strike. The next offering misses. And it's three and two. Here comes a pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Oh, he throws it away. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. 0 for 1 so far. This one ripped, but foul to the right. And here it comes. Ball one. I got one ball, one strike. Pitch misses there. Two balls and a strike. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The 2 1. Fouled off. He was late. Runners on the corners. No outs. Swing and a miss struck him out.
Now the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch misses for ball one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boy. The 1-0. -oh. Good eye right there. First and third, one down. Now three and oh. Jeremy Pena to bat next. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Stepping in, Jeremy Pena. Single to right in his first trip. In the dirt, but kept close. Runners stay put. That's ball one. Alvarez, the runner at third, Abreu at second, McCormick over at first, so going away. That nope. misses the zone. Now two balls and a strike. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. And a pitch. Next offering misses down and away. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. I think he was sitting off speed there. Base hit into right center. One runs in. Now the second run is in. Now three runs are in, and they're up by three. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle seriously we're starting with this already martin maldonado up to hit really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field first oh, offering and it just misses pitch that one missed action in the pen down there Martin Perez getting ready to go the pitch and a curve finds the outside corner for strike two well he went inside a couple of times and now outside Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Runner at second here, one gone. That one in for a strike, two and two. And now it's filled up. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short. Starting to show some signs of fatigue, so we'll see how much longer they let him go. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Jordan Montgomery out of the game. It's a three-run game, and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute.
So out of the bullpen for the Rangers, Martin Perez. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Struck out on just three pitches last time. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. First pitch and he just misses. Dives and he can't hang on. Goes to second, safe there. Bases loaded with one away. Mauricio Dubon up next for the Astros. One for two. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Next pitch misses. Ball two. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. 2 0. And ball another three. ball. One out. Base is full. In there at the knees. That's strike one. pitch swings and misses struck him out he's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field he was out in front there just needs to let the ball travel a little more and his timing will be back on track good pitch for the strikeout and now it's Alex Bregman That's in for a strike. Big moment in this game. Two outs, two runners in scoring position, and could really break this thing wide open early. Two outs, bases are full. Oh. Next offering is downstairs. Good eye in that spot. A really good take, especially with two strikes. Two, two down. Stays alive. Bases loaded, two down. Next pitch misses outside, and it's three and two. Your down Alvarez waits on deck. Diving, and he can't make the play. One runs in. The second run scores. Oh, the throw is over his head. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Here's Jordan Alvarez.
First offering misses the mark. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next pitch is outside, and it's 2-0. 2-0 oh. oh count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side, or the fans better look out in the stands. Ball the three. next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Three balls, no strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. And the 3 1. So now two on and two outs. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. So two on and two away. And next to hit for Houston, Jose Abreu. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Bregman on second. Alvarez at first. Two out of the inning. At the belt and fires. Swinging a foul straight back. The one two hot shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning so a great inning there as they bat around to score six times to open up the lead on to the top of the fifth we go it's the Astros six and the Rangers nothing back here in Houston down the third baseman Josh Young number six well, every pitcher wants to run support and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping nope. the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Swing get a ball popped up. Abreu makes the play. One up, one down. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Caught looking his first time up. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right That's now. First offering, and it just misses. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. He swings and fouls one off. The 1-1. One -one. They say you win. Yeah, the one two sorry, misses to even the count. Here's a 2 2. I got three and two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Now a screamer into the outfield and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Just one of those at bats you almost hate to see come to an end. So much of good hitting is finding holes in the defense. That's why you're always thinking line drive into the gap. Those kinds of swings really boost your confidence. So now the DH spot, Mitch Garver struck out swinging his first time. Top of the zone for a called strike.
and the 0 1. Way high. That one inside, two and one. The pitch. That one missing inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The three one. That clips the corner. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Kicks and fires. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. No, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. First pitch, just misses. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. One left for Texas. They still find themselves down. Six zip. Welcome back. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. The line to kick the pitch. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Well, these Astros putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Next offering is down low. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. And he deals. And that one is inside. Oh, nice play. Roll to the pitcher. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. Here's the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. That hits the dirt, and it's one to no. And a pitch. And the 1 0 misses low. Got to be real careful here. 2 0. He's hunting for his pitch. Can't glove it cleanly. Well, looked like a pretty routine play. Just couldn't get it to stick in the glove as he gets tagged with the error. Should have been two outs in the inning, but. Now they have to work around it and get two more. So up next, Jeremy Pena. That pitch gets the corner, and that's strike one.
Just missed. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. And he boots it. Throw to first, gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second now half. Catcher, Marti, Maldonado. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Martin Maldonado. Takes low for ball one. That's and downstairs. Open. McCormick on its second with two down. That's in there. Now two balls and a strike. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Man at second. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two outs. And that's outside. Jose Altuve waiting for a turn at the plate. Runner at second, two down. On the ground, right side. On to first. And that is the inning. So the Astros lead one. They lead it, though, 6 zip. Back here in Houston, all set for the top of the sixth. Here's a speed threat, Marcus Simeon. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. The 1-0. Foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The pitch. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Yeah, the right hander deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. And that's a little high. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. That's inside. And that's ball three. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Calls it in, and there's one away. So now it's Corey Seager. First pitch, and he just misses. And there's the strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Started to go at the 1-2. 
A check on it to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Left hand hitter waits. And a ball <laughs> evens the count. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. So next to hit for Texas, Evan Carter. And that's a little bit high. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Swing. Off nope. the mark the there. And the count is 2-0. And there's the strike. Two ball, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Smash to the left side. Zips it to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing here this half. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Astros six and the Rangers nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Here comes a pitch. And that is cut on and missed. Strike one. That looked like a case of deciding to swing no matter what. That pitch was way up. Nice job of the pitcher knowing that this hitter's looking for something up that he can drive, but he just expanded the zone to his advantage. And now the lefty. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Man at first. And the batter now. Mauricio Dubon. Pickoff move to first. Altuve back safely. Dubon in his third season. 28 years old. And he was born in Honduras. And he dodges that fastball. Ripped into right field, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And stepping in for the Astros, Alex Bregman. Drove in three last time off, and another chance to put something on the board here. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Altuve, the lead runner at second, Dubon at first with no outs. There's the swing and a miss. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. Next offering is downstairs. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. The 2 1. Grounded to third. Could be two. Tags the runner. How about that double play? The batter, number 44. Designated hitter, Yordan. So now the Alvarez. Astros designated hitter, Yordan Alvarez. On the corner for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Well, an at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Out of line, out towards center. And yeah, they get the out on Alvarez. And that is that. One left for Houston, but they're on top by a count of 6 to nothing.
And welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Verlander back to work. And a strike in there. Not what he's looking for there in the OO Cal. Looks like he wants the ball down in his own. Strike two. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Next one just misses. And the count is one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. It's going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Two and two. Next offering is outside. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. First offering misses the mark. High fly ball out at a left center field. Snags it on the run. And there's two away. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good eye right there. That one's in there. That's strike one. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Nathaniel Lowe stepping in for the Rangers. Pitch misses there. And that is ball one. Just off the outside part of the plate. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Ryan Stanek appears to be getting loose. Urquidy getting loose as well. Two and old to Cal. Here it comes. Called strike right there. Wings here and blasts one left field. McCormick ranging back on it. Bangs off the wall. Now that designated. Hit. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Here comes a skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Verlander done in this one. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. A new pitcher in the game, Ryan Stanek. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. And it's scored position with two away. Mitch Garver stepping in for the Rangers. In there for strike one. Righty to the plate. 
and clips the corner. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. The 0-2 towards first. He takes it on his own. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left off. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Astros six, and the Rangers one. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Jose Leclerc. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And stepping in for the Astros, Jose Abreu. And a pitch. On the corner for a strike. 0-1. And here it comes. Ball one. One ball. Two strikes. And nope. now it's even up. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Right Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Tucker at the plate and takes high there. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Andrew Heaney, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. Come on, Houston! And the 1-0. Hey. Outside corner, there's a strike. Righty delivers. Inside ball. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. He can't squeeze it and it drops in foul. 2-2. Two -two. And there's a the ball. We'll see another payoff pitch. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Goes down looking. I guarantee he's going to check the tape on that last pitch when he gets a chance because he thought it was ball four, and he wasn't wrong. I mean, it was a close pitch. Definitely not an easy call, but especially after a long at-bat, that'll drive you crazy getting rung up like that. Two outs, space is empty. So next up for Houston, Chaz McCormick. First pitch, and he just misses. And the righty deals. And that one missing low. Two balls, no strike. Misses straight with the 2 0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. And that's in for a strike. Take it all the way on 3 0 right there, and as a hitter, you're saying, why couldn't I get that pitch earlier in the count when I'm looking to swing? And that one is lifted in the air. Tavares settles under it. 
And makes the play, and that's out number three. Nothing doing there for Houston. They lead it, though, 6-1. Back here at Minute Maid Park, we go to the eighth, and now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Heim. Let's go, Astro. Come on, Astro. All right, Astro. Woo. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Ball one there. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Phil Maton is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. And it is two and one. That one missed. The pitch. A dive. He's got it. The throw. In time. Great stretch at first for the out. What a play. Now it's Marcus Simeon. And that one oh, almost man. got him. The 1 0. And that's oh, outside. Man. Right-handed reliever inside nope. just okay. missed. There Simeon started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and Freddie Ferguson says he went around. The pitch. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Now it's Corey Seager. One for three. That one's in there on one. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. On the mound now, Jose Urquidy. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Number 65, Jose Urquidy. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. That one outside, ball one. The pitch. Good eye right there. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next pitch downstairs, and now three and one.
swing and a high fly ball left field. McCormick has it sized up. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now batting, right fielder, Adolis Garcia. So first and second with two outs. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. Here's a strike. Simeon, the lead runner out at second. Seeger on at first with two down. Strike two. They must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. That one is absolutely belted. Tucker going back on this one. To the warning track, makes the catch. Rangers leave a pair. The lead remains five. It's 6 1. Back right, now, new pitcher please. on the mound as we now roll into the bottom four. of the eighth, Josh Spore. I think he's got to be a little Josh. tough coming in out of the pen Spore. when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same Way for his stats, obviously, Astros. regardless of the score. Not shortstop. And here is Jeremy Pena. Pena. And a pitch. And a big swing and a miss. Oh, it might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. Kicks and fires. Ball. One ball, two strikes. That one hit to right. And that'll fall for a base hit. Clearly see the ball very well in this one. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Maldonado stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. pitch and that one fouled off nobody out runner at first next pitch is outside bullpen action for the Rangers Andrew Heaney the left-handed reliever appears to be getting loose And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Fouls it back with two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side throw the hitter I mean, it's just tough you're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off Altuve in the box now no balls in a strike fastball almost got him there Throw to first, and he dives back in safely. Back over to first, and he's back in that time as well. Next one is off the plate, and a count two and one.
Liner. He's hit. Around second is Pena. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And now here is... Oh, and he hit him. Well, things starting to unravel out there on the mounds, giving up a few hits. Now he's hitting guys. He's got to find a way to compose himself, or he's not going to be out there much longer. Bregman stands in now and watches strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. At the belt and fires. What? Chopped out in front of the plate. Spores over to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. Back here in Houston, here's the center fielder, Laoti Tavares. Ninth inning elimination game. Chris, it's a tall task. They're going to need a crooked number to tie this game up. Yeah, and they just have to remember that they have had Ooh, many man, innings man. over the course of the year where they've scored more runs needed than they need in this one. So just relax, get your pitch, and make something happen. Urquidy measures six feet even, 215 pounds, and he's a native of Mexico. Ball two. The next offering misses, two and that's ball two. Bounce to third. Over to Abreu. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Now that third baseman, Josh. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. That one misses in the dirt. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. That's in there, and it's one and one. Just missed. Two balls, one strike. The two one. Good eye right there. Yeah. And that one clips the corner. The wind of the pitch. In the air, right field. Tucker should have it. Two down. Now back. So they're down to their final Lowe. out. Now here is Nathaniel Lowe. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. And it's fouled away. The 0 1. And that one off the outside edge. That's a little bit low. The 2 1. And strike two. That one just misses. Mitch Garver in the on deck circle for Texas. The kick, the 3 2. 
right side and foul ball. And a payoff pitch. 